Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to continue off with our series from last week, which is Pi Hosted. And we are going to be installing a dashboard this time called Homer. So let's get started. Now, in case you guys missed my last video, I actually got a new playlist for this new series. And the first episode is just basically building the base of it, installing the operating system, getting SSH working, installing Docker, Portainer, and also a web SSH client itself. Now, today we are gonna be installing a dashboard called Homer just so we could have everything in one place so we could, it's easier to click and it looks pretty. Now, again, this is inspired from a Reddit post that I saw a couple of weeks ago where uh, somebody was able to host a lot of services off two Raspberry Pis and I kind of want to mimic the style of what he was doing and the first thing we need to do is install dashboard to jump into it now um, again this is from our last video if you've seen it uh, I only got one container operating right now and I've also installed a URL for the app templates and Going through the app templates itself, if you guys haven't already since the last video, there's a ton of things you could install in here. Especially like, if you look through this, you'll see like, I don't know, Jellyfin, you could just click and install. Uh, if you want to install Plex, you could just click and install that. Uh, Pi Hole, a ton of things just right off the bat. But I'm gonna go through each one and go through all the setups and settings. This way, you know what you're installing and how to configure it. Now, again, we are gonna be jumping into getting Homer. So I'm just gonna click on that. Actually, if I was to click on the app template itself, let me go back, uh, dashboard, app template, and let me see if I go click on Homer like this. Oh no, it just jumps into it. I thought there was more settings on the right-hand side. But all right, from here we have, this is basically it. If I was to just deploy the container, it will be all set. But to show you advanced options, uh, the main, container uses 8080 as a port. Now 8080 is a very, very common port. That's why they actually have you host change that 8902. Second thing you wanna know is the container uses www slash assets as the folder. So inside its little container, it uses slash www slash assets, and that's where it retains all the information. But outside of the container, which is our host, where do we wanna store that? Now, this is a default installation of um, Homer, so it will actually just default to Portainer, files, app data, config, all this other stuff. You could always change this to whatever you want. Now, just remember, you gotta mimic the configurations to this one as well, but just without the assets. Now. I'll leave it as default, but realistically, you could put it anywhere you want. You could even put it in your home folder. You could put it anywhere. So for now, I am going to leave this as default. I'm not going to change anything over and just remember the port 8902. So I'm going to deploy this container. This is actually going to download all the information, grab everything and install it and set it up to the way we have everything hooked up over here. So now we have their second container working. Now to do this, we could actually just jump into the Homer. Now, our IP address is 192.168.112 and Homer was 89.02. So now we have this really cool dashboard. Uh, this is a default page, so we're gonna have to change this around to make it look like the way we want to. But ultimately, this is how it would look like. You do have system theme, which I was just on. This one is the light mode and then the dark mode. So it depends on how you wanna switch this over. I might just wanna keep it in the dark mode because it looks so cool like this. But to change this around, there's no way here to actually like right click and do settings. You will have to configure using the config YML file. Now to do this, we're gonna jump into our shell. And remember I, oops, I need HTTPS. And this is shell in a box and this goes pointed right to our server and we're gonna to need to configure everything. Now, remember the locations that we had everything before, which was slash portainer slash whatever, and all this other stuff. That's where we have to go. So I'm gonna to go to CD slash portainer files, app data, config. I'm hitting tab to autocomplete. Now, the only thing we have installed here is Homer, so it's gonna automatically default to Homer. And we have an assets folder. So inside here, we have all our information. Now. To get custom icons working, like the GitHub icon and this icon, you could download and load in your own icons into this folder. So if I was to ls icons, you're gonna see a few 
icons in here any maskable safari pinned stuff like that if I, and if i go to ls tools these are two sample pictures that we have in here as well they're all png files now we're not going to be worried about this right now we're just going to jump into the configuration file so we know what we're doing now we're going to sudo nano config and the annoying part of this whole docker thing or portainer or any of this is that we require root access to actually configure these files so now we're going to jump into the configuration files and we're going to span through all the list of stuff here can i make this bigger or is this good enough for you guys let me know in the future video because i'm just using shell in a box and this is the default font i don't know if i could oh i actually can look i could increase the browser to 150 and it makes everything bigger never mind so let's start off with the top homepage configuration the title is called dashboard demo or demo dashboard uh, let me see if I could do this. Hold on. Boom. And portainer local. Oop, wrong one. Homer. And now we got the Homer. And this one could be... Oh, if I set it like that, it loses that configuration as well. Okay. You know what? I'll just leave it like this for now. Title is called Dashboard Demo. Or Demo Dashboard. And I am going to change this over to Raspberry pi server and the subtitle which is this thing up on top let's change this to pi hosted and we have our logo uh, additional icons if we want to optional themes okay so if i want to like use an icon from font awesome or fa you could see like a skull and crossbone instead of having to use the donut i could actually just uncomment that out and to save this in notepad plus plus control O is your key hit enter and now all I have to do is just refresh over here and there we have it that is now added into our little list called Pi hosted Raspberry Pi server and our little cross uh, skull icon crossbone which is pretty cool now I do like the default icon so I'm just gonna leave I'm gonna comment out that icon again and start going down the list now there are themes that you could choose you can leave it as default there's light and dark theme you can see all the colors over here uh, all the hexadecimal now if you do really want to change um, the theme of this just go through all this and change all the colors that you want now i kind of use this software called um yeah color generator or colors and this creates palettes for me which is really cool this website is something that i want to use when i generally don't have an idea how i want a web page to look so I'll hit up this website called Colors. And okay, out of all times I want to use this, it is down. But take my word for it, it will generate six or seven colors in like a weird scheme. Oh man, I really wish I could show you this right now. But that's the only one that I really just use and, and the website's down. Now, moving down a little bit, you have this called Optional Message. This is for, uh, where was it? This right over here. Demo, this is a dummy homepage you see how it says demo this is a dummy home page etc etc it gives you the icon which is the green right over here and it gives you a url of the styling so i don't really like this because it takes up um, space unless you have multiple people that are using this and you want to send them a message i am just going to get rid of this so i'm going to do that that and i'm going to do Control o to save that and refresh the site and there we have it it's gone now we're slowly configuring the way we want to look at it um, next up we have links and this is for what is this oh this is over here you have these three links and you could add and change them now if you don't want any of these things you could just comment them out or you can add to it so this gives you like a good template to work off of i'm going to leave that alone because that's not really bothering me yet and I might use, I might add some um, buttons to that in, in a little bit. But mainly what we are interested in is in service. Now services gives you the application, the, uh, the name of the application, and also the taglines and everything. And you want to add everything to this. Now keep in mind, this is also a YAML file, Y-A-M-L, Y-M-L file. So much like Python, 
spacing is key. So you need to know that there's two spaces here, one space here, and that's how you have to keep everything. So two space, one space, two space, like that. So this is like not tab, these are all spaces. And if you wanna add to this, you would have to create more or follow their spacing method so everything works together. Now we're just gonna continue off applications. And instead of calling this an awesome app and it just gives us a logo, remember we had sample one and sample two icons. These are the two icons. Um, we could also change to whatever we want. So instead of having to use logo, we could use icon and uh, adjust the name to everything we want. So first I'm gonna do this as shell in a box. That's the first thing we've installed on the Raspberry Pi and I wanna be able to just click on it and get to it. So shell in a box. Uh, I don't have a logo picture yet, so I'm just gonna leave it as default. Subtitle, I am gonna call this web SSH. Uh, the tagline, which it says app, and that's the little, this little thing right here. Technically, this is an app, whoops. Technically, this is an app, so I am gonna leave that. And the URL is going to be https 192.168.105.112.4200. And target. This is a good thing because when you hit this, it'll actually create a blank page, meaning it'll move to a new tab. If you don't have target, it's going to just re change the current site that you're using. So I'm just going to leave this like that and hit save. Oop, control O, sorry and refresh that. So now it says shell in a box. Now if I click on it, it will actually open this new prompt and now I have my shell. Now moving along, we are gonna start adding more and more to this list as we build more software into it. And to download icons, re realistically, all you really need to know is the PNG. You need to get the PNG. So if I want to do um, dash icon, because that looks really good for a shell icon, right? Something like this. I will look P for PNG. And where is a good one? Probably this one looks pretty good. Yeah. Let's see if this is a PNG. Okay, maybe that's like taken up. I don't like, maybe this one. I don't know. I just gotta find something that might work. Let's do this. Unix shell. Let's pop over here. Can we do a free download or something like that? Okay, so now it's gonna save our PNG. So I'm just gonna save file. If you have a chance to really just grab the URL link, like I did before, because I downloaded it, I run in and right click and copy the link to download. What you can do is actually go over into your terminal. This is a little bit more annoying to do, but I'm gonna go change my directory over to home, wget and paste that into there. And it should be able to grab that icon. Now I'm gonna mv kiss that PNG to term that PNG and mv sudo mv, I'm gonna move it because I don't need to keep it here term png to portainer homer all the way to assets and tools okay so now that we moved everything over back to there we're going to change our directory back to that area sudo nano config and this that we have asset tools and samples right over here i'm just going to change this to term Control O to save, yes. And we should be able to refresh that icon. There we have it. So I just downloaded an icon from the web browser, load it into the directory where it should be, which is the asset slash tools. And here we have our little icon for shell in a box. Now, again, we have to continue doing this. If you want to add new categories, same applies. Just remember to do the spacing. Uh, you could probably copy and paste this and just rename everything. So I'm gonna copy and paste okay that kind of ruined it on the bottom so that's fine home control k control k control k control k deletes the line it kind of just like didn't paste everything that we want 
as a matter of fact it actually did not do um, the tabbing or the spacing that I needed so name is called application icon one two three four five so you kind of need to play around with this we have items then name then logo okay as far as what I did is just added an extra line and I'm just going to call this server which we don't have anything here yet technically we do so we could actually add portainer so we'll call this port tainer and we're going to have to do a new logo we're going to call this subtitle docker uh, the URL we're going to change over to 9000 and it's going to target to a new blank control O to save and if we refresh something is messed up because that's why the URL should not be on that line control O save hit F5 and there you go we have our partainer container and if I click on that it should jump into the new one. Oh, it should be HTTP so let's fix that HTTP save that let's try it again there you go now we have two links that are working one is application which is shell in a box and the server portainer and we're gonna have to change the logo around I'll do that off camera but anyway that is it we are now having an actual dashboard that we can navigate through configure and put stuff together like we saw on the earlier post on reddit and we're going to continue now adding services to this and fill this entire page up now if you have any questions about this or if i missed something let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any particular server software you do want to see on this let me know down in the comments below as well anyway if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave hack till it hurts